Hello everyone, this is the Norway Canada Training Videos and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with restricted group membership in GPO and restricted group membership GPO is uh, the setting in which we can restrict a group membership uh, so that nobody should be able to add or remove members from that group. Now let's first understand quickly uh, in order to understand restricted group membership let's say we do have uh, Active Directory installed on this so our Active Directory is here and Active Directory has user accounts, Active Directory has groups as well. Let's say we have a group called Manager and this group is a very important group since the group has access to maybe very important resources. It has access to let's say internet with high speed internet. It also has access to maybe uh, board rooms, uh, uh, board room, meeting room number one, meeting room number two, maybe the had access to uh, some other very important servers as well, admin access to many other stuff. So anybody who's part of this group, anyone who's part of uh, this group uh, uh, will automatically get access to all these resources. So what we can do is, through group policy, we can restrict membership of this group. So that is known as uh, restricting group membership, restrict group membership. And I'm going to show that uh, I'm going to show you how to how to do that through group policy. Now, once the, the membership of this group is restricted, whatever we do from GPO, so I'm going to go into GPO and I'm going to say uh, user one, or let's say this user and the second user. These both are part of uh, manager's group, and other than that, there won't be anybody else added to the group. So the membership of the group will be restricted. That's uh, that's one way of protecting. So let's get started. Let me show you how this works. So first of all, let's let let us go into our Active Directory. So I'm going to go into Users and Computers, and I'm going to go create a group called uh, Mike. So I'm going to go into Toronto Users uh, Managers OU. I'm going to go under Users here. I'm going to create. Uh, if you don't have this uh, hierarchy, just make the OU structure. I'm going to make a new group called uh, Managers. Managers, I'm going to leave everything default and I've got a, have a group, group called manager. Now, without applying the group policy, what we can do is let's say if I go and uh, go into the property and in members, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, okay, add Mike. So, Mike and check name. Since I do have a user Mike in this, uh, in this uh, group, and I'm going to add another user called, let's say, Adrian. So, ADR, Adrian. I'm going to add both users to this group. So basically, these both users are part of this group now. Now, since there is no group policy on this group, anybody who has access to Active to users and computer, they'll be able to add people to this group. And since this group has access to some very important resources, they all get access. So let's say uh, we need only Mike to be added to this group all the time, and nobody else other than Mike should be added. Uh, so we're going to restrict access to this group using group policy uh, GPO. So for, for that, I'm going to go into tools. And within tools, I'm going to open GPM. Once GPM is open, all I need to do is I'm going to go here within group policy editor. I'm going to create a new group policy, new. And here I'm going to say this is, uh, uh, this is uh, restricted group membership for manager. So I've restricted group manager. So this is just the name. And now uh, once that is created, I'm going to go inside, go to edit. And within edit, I'm going to go down to uh, policy, window settings, and go to security settings. And within security settings, we have something called restricted group here. Now, once you have restricted group, it's empty. There is nothing. We're going to create a new group, add group. I'm going to browse, and I'm going to look for manager, M-A-N. So if you write first three words, if it is a legit group in this domain, uh, it should be able to find. So I'm going to say manager. Once you open it, now it gives you two here. It's saying the manager is saying nothing. Uh, it can't see the current manager, but it's empty in GPO. So I'm going to say, so Mike, let's look for Mike. Mike should be part of this group, and this time we're not adding Adrian. Uh, so we're gonna apply and done. And group policy is created now. Since the group policy is created, it's not 
attached to anywhere else what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach it to the domain now once it is attached to a domain uh, now as soon as and it is a computer setting as soon as any computer restarts the policy will be applied or we can run gp update so on the same machine so let me go here and see the group membership at the moment i can see there are two users in this so let's go and apply a group policy so here first open cmd cmd and within cmd we're going to say gp gp update and active now once all the policies are applied uh, the group membership ship should be changed so it is applied let's go back here and here i can see now mike is the member the other person is removed now yes you will be able to add adrian again uh, but then again as soon as the group policy will be applied on this so here let's say i'm going to say this time let's add alan and enter once you add him again so i can see the group membership here and we all know the group uh, gpo that applied in 90 to 120 minutes again i'm going to go here and apply group policy as soon as it is applied the membership will be changed to just oops not changed what happened so here one more time sometimes it just uh, take few tries and here let's refresh let's look at the membership and we have Alan A added uh, maybe it's just a matter of uh, applying it a few times but we just applied it and uh, updating policy So it is applied. Okay, so now it is applied. It's just a, as I said, it's just a matter of applying it a few times. Sometimes you might need to use force. Otherwise, force is never required in 2008 or 2012 above 2008. But as you can see, it is just a little patience, time, and it works. So this is what group policies, restricted group policies are. Thank you for watching this video, and I'm going to see you in the next video.